And as UK witnesses its worst riots in years, as I mentioned, incidents of violence, arson and looting have taken over the headlines after a stabbing rampage at a dance class left three young girls dead and many more wounded. Immediately after the attack, rumours started circulating on social media about the background of the British-born 17-year-old suspect. And these false posts claimed that the suspect's name was Ali al-Shakati, an asylum seeker and a Muslim immigrant. While the rumours have been have been quashed by a UK court, the latest report suggests the reach of the false news is much wider than estimated. According to Hootsuit, a social media management platform, posts show the false identity of the Southport stabbing suspect were viewed over 420,000 times on social media. Posts mentioning the false name were viewed over 90,000 times, whereas videos showing the fake name were watched over 330,000 times. Meanwhile, the false information was shared in over 4,500 posts across X, Facebook, YouTube, Quora, Reddit. On the day of the stabbing alone, more than 2,600 posts mentioned the false identity. What's alarming is that most of these posts, particularly focused on the asylum seeker claim, the data shows how the misinformation spread like wildfire in a matter of hours, having been picked up by thousands of individual users and shared among communities. And it's a classic example of how misinformation can lead to actual violence. 